Juan Carlos Rodriguez and his wife Heidi were taking one of the dogs to veterinarian in Venezuela last year when they found a sloth on the road that had fallen from a power line after apparently suffering an electrical shock. They took the brown throated sloth, which is common in parts of South and Central America, to the vet and were able to save him. Though the animal lost two hind limbs and the claws of its left arm. They dubbed him Chewy after the furry Star Wars character Chewbacca and decided to open a shelter for the vulnerable animals in their home in the lush suburbs of Venezuelan capital Caracas. When we rescued Chewy and we found that this animal is really very well protected in the country and after investigating to find it in other countries where it should be very well protected and very well known, we realized that the animal is very well protected muy mal investigado a nivel mundial, ¿ok? Eh, dijimos, mira, hay que hacerlo, o sea, porque si ya tenemos a uno, ¿por qué no seguir con el otro? Y ya que levantamos al otro, ¿por qué no seguir con el otro? The famously slow-moving animals obtain their nourishment and protection from predators by spending their time in tropical forests, but are prone to attack or injury when they are outside that environment. The Chewy, the Gentleman Rescue Center, has so far rehabilitated more than 40 slots and returned to them to the wild. We have created a protocol that is rescate, rehabilitation and liberation. At this moment, today we have 45 perezosos rescued, being Chewy the ambassador. Many simply rescued from the place where it is in danger. We Revisamos si tiene alguna afección es que lo traemos acá a lo que es nuestro centro de operaciones en este momento que será el centro de rescate y de ahí entonces le aplicamos la revisión el tratamiento llamamos a nuestros veterinarios. Neither are the veterinarians, but they have learned to provide treatment with the help of online training from experts in Chile and Costa Rica. They hope to set aside 400 square meters of the 1,100 meter property by the middle of the next year to be able to treat 50 slots at a time. Funding needs are limited because slots generally eat leaves. Veterinarian friends in Chile send them donations of medicine. To his injuries meant he could not survive in the wild, so he has stayed on as a pet in the Rodriguez two-story home in San Antonio de Los Altos, a Caracas suburb surrounded by wood and forest that is a natural habitat for slots. The other slots have simply received a number because the rot rakes want them to return to the wild rather than continue living with people. Y nosotros vemos este centro de rescate y rehabilitación de presosos como una nace de las presas que queremos es aportar a la naturaleza, a, a la vida de ellos porque no hace falta que ellos estén en peligro de extinción para protegerlos. Six species of slots live in Central and South America, according to the United Nations Environment Program, which says their natural habitats have been disrupted by deforestation and degradation of tropical forests. The Rodriguez recently spent nine days giving treatment to slot 43 for an eye injury and respiratory infection after a nearby family found it in the parking lot of the building. On 30 July, they led 43 or 4.1 kilo female to the woods at the edge of the property and watched as she walked off through the undergrowth.